Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be doing the do it yourself shea butter whip, and it has that little bit of a creamy texture. Love this stuff. Anyway, shea butter, anti inflammatory, softened your hair, as well as an excellent sealant. The last of my nourishing shine for the fragrance, the smooth consistency, and the vitamins. Coconut oil. I love this stuff. This has good fatty acids in it that retain the moisture as well as help prevent split ends. Castor oil. It's a really thick humectant of anti-inflammatory properties that help your hair. Vegetable glycerin. This little guy's optional. But it's also a humectant that fights that dryness. Ow. Olive oil. It's a thinner oil that has linoleic acid, which is just a big fancy word for um, locking in the water. Make sure you have a container with a lid on it, a nice big bowl, and a spoon and bite. Okay, so first you wanna throw your shea butter in there. Make sure you get as much as you want out of it. The more shea butter, the better. Um, and everything else just happens to complement the shea butter. That's why it's called do-it-yourself shea butter. Whip. Yes. And you know, if it gets gloopy like this, just use your shea butter and glob it off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then you follow up with a nourishing shine. Just add that nice fragrance we talked about earlier. Sweet. Then the coconut oil. Then I kept, I kind of went crazy with that. But I love coconut oil, so it's good. Look at that. Look at that. Texture. Yes. Now, you want to add your oil, so you start with your olive. You know, I didn't even, I kind of eyeballed it. And then you add your castor oil. And then you stand back and look at the buttes. And then you whip. And you whip in, whip in. It takes a long time. And even after, there were still like little chunks of shea butter. But, I mean, it's okay. It's not going to kill anybody. And then you do a little scrapey scrape with your butter knife. And then you grab a plastic bag. And you put everything, all your little shea butter stuff in the plastic bag. You scrape it all out. Make sure you get all your contacts or as much as you would like to get out of there. And put it in the bag. Then you get your container ready. Cut a little hole in the bag. See what I did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cut the hole. And you squeeze. Give it a little shake. And then squeeze again. And there you have it, your do-it-yourself shea butter. It wasn't too hard now, was it? All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.